guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you've seen from the title, we're gonna be talking about my summer, summer favorites today. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up today, I'm gonna to be talking about skincare. Um, so for the summer, my favorite cleanser has been the Olay Fresh Effects Facial Cloth. Now, I didn't realize initially that they come in an actual like um, plastic container that you can pull them out. So I like bought a bunch of the like refills which frankly it's cheaper so do that um so i used the pink packs first which were the like moisturizing ones went through two of those i absolutely love them recently i got the blue pack um i will insert like the proper name but it's like the deep cleansing one and i love this stuff it's so easy and i'm like lazy when it comes to skincare so you literally just like this little cloth you just wet this and then use it to wash your face it takes off makeup it takes off waterproof mascara like it literally takes off everything and it's so easy um i traveled with these and they were great for traveling because obviously it's not a liquid it's completely dry and it's easy to pack so the next thing i absolutely love is the pixie glow tonic now i went through two of the large bottles of this ran out right before my trip last month didn't think i needed to purchase it back and then I started getting these like patches of like my eczema really acting up right here and around my nose and nothing else would get rid of it. And then I bought a travel size bottle to take with me on my cruise. And after like two days, eczema patches are gone and they have not been back. So I like love, love, love this stuff. So the next is two are technically toners. So like for instance, the Kapari Coconut Rose Toner love this it's sulfate free paraben free i got this out of the sephora summer favorite set it's very refreshing and what i like about this like i really use this as a facial spray not an actual toner because i find it so calming and i know rose is known to be very calming to the skin so i finally like get the benefits of that and i think the coconut in it is what makes it more appealing to me because it's not like this overly potpourri rose scent that a lot of rose products normally have which i don't and then the other facial spray which i'm in love with is another pixie product and this is the vitamin mist spray so all winter i used their glowy mist spray and i loved it it's very hydrating but with it being so hot i didn't feel my skin really needed that so this in the morning every morning religiously and i just find it very uh, energizing and very like refreshing to the skin it's very citrusy smelling it's got orange blossom and citrus extract so that makes sense but i really like this i think it makes my skin very glowy um, i never oil. used to think that i needed to wear sunblock on my face all the time and i started wearing like a daily svf last summer and my favorite so far is the clinique pep start um, daily UV protector don't feel it it's not sticky it's not heavy it doesn't make me like sweaty or anything like that it's just super lightweight and got UV protection of like 50 so protect your skin um, and then my final like skincare product is actually a lip balm now I have not used a lip balm in like two years because I got into the Clarence Instant Light Lip Oils and I absolutely love them. I think I've used every flavor they make except for the bubblegum one and I love that stuff. So I'm very particular about like what goes on my lips in the sense of is it truly hydrating? And so I like gave up all hope on lip balms because nothing works. It's all like just on top of your lips and not really do anything until I caved and I tried the fresh sugar um caramel lip balm and i strictly got it because it smelled really good and everyone said it was really good and i was like you know what? let me give another lip balm a try and it just comes in a little pot i do not take this out of the house because i'm not gonna stick like my dirty fingers in this and put it on so this is what i put on in the morning when i'm getting ready i put it on at night and if i'm just home like today i will reapply this product i've put a nice little dent in it already but it smells like caramel and brown sugar but it's not so sweet that it's sickening um it's very lightweight it's very very hydrating so if you're someone that's looking for a lip balm that works that actually works i recommend this so the next category of things i'm going to be talking about is hair care now this summer i've cut my hair um to talk about my hair is a video within itself but i was transitioning natural did that for a year and then 
I was kind of over it so I was like let's put in this relaxer and cut down my hair I just really wanted um, just the ease of short hair I love short hair and it's hot so prior to cutting my hair though I was really loving these my organics products and I was worried that when I cut my hair and went back to a relaxer I wouldn't like them as much simply because like while I was transitioning the products that I used before I didn't like on my natural hair however that was not the case and I absolutely love these products still and they've been a lifesaver this summer the Myrl Organics Babasu Conditioning Shampoo and I love this stuff it is very very liquidy and I like that I don't know why for even when I was transitioning I just find that it really got to my scalp a lot easier than a traditional like thicker shampoo and I love that even though this is sulfate free it suds up like a regular shampoo because personally if a shampoo doesn't set up I don't feel like it's cleaning my hair um, especially my scalp and I need my scalp to be cleaned and even more importantly because I do have dry hair it does not dry my hair out so like I wash my hair like weekly when I'm not being lazy and I find that for a good solid week like my hair is still moisturized and I really attest it to these products so the next thing I absolutely love is the Babasu mint conditioning or mint conditioner and this has protein in it which um, I don't find that I have a sensitivity to protein I like to use a protein based conditioner in my hair especially when I have a relaxer because it helps to strengthen my hair I will switch it out for moisturizing conditioner whenever I feel like I need it but I love this as you can see there's not much left uh, these products are not cheap especially here in Canada I really wish this container was bigger but I love this the mint is so invigorating and it feels so good on the scalp and like I know most people don't put conditioner on their scalp but my scalp is dry I can and it feels so good it's super tingly and I don't find I have to like leave this on super long it detangles my hair it makes it really soft and manageable and again like these are the bases of my moisturizing like steps and they keep my hair moist all week and then an old like that has become a love is this shampoo brush and that it cleans my scalp very very well so if you're someone that like really likes a deep clean or you have like um eczema or contact dermatitis or psoriasis or anything where you need to like get the scabs out get you one uh this is from vanity planet i ordered it with like a youtubers like coupon code so if you can find those use them okay so the three products I've been using and absolutely loving for styling my hair first up is the Carol Fodder black vanilla leave-in conditioner I have gone through quite a bit of this I love a liquid leave-in I find that it penetrates the hair more or at least it penetrates my hair more while still providing a lot of moisture but it's not like a thick goopy product so it's not adding any weight it has aloe vera pro vitamin b5 and wheat protein again i do use products of protein in it because i do have a chemical treatment in my hair this smells so good it makes me want to like get the whole line and the next item is also from carol's daughter and it's the hair milk or from the hair milk nourishing and conditioning line and it's the cream to serum I bought this on a whim and I love it so it says that it penetrates moisture uh, smooths frizz and leaves a natural shine um, the shine part I guess I wouldn't know smooths frizz I don't typically have frizzy hair right now because of my relaxer penetrates and moisturizes is a fact this is very very lightweight absorbs really really fast and it helps again to detangle it smooths it hydrates and it keeps my hair hydrated and then to lock down the style especially like the sides and the back which eh, still currently drying um, I use the lot of body wrap me foaming mousse now I've used a couple of mousses and I don't like my hair to be hard and crunchy and I find that this creates a very soft hold that lasts and you know I throw a bonnet on at night sometimes I don't it still stays minimum touch up like I don't really touch my hair all week I don't recurl the top I don't like nothing I put this stuff in and it dries and I put it throughout my whole head tie down the back let it dry and I curl this in the morning and then I'm good for like six days so this love um, this line smells really really good it's like coconut and shea 
Um, it's supposed to like define curls, tame frizz. I don't have curls for it to define, but it does tame frizz and it does block. And then I'm gonna get into beauty. I don't have a lot of beauty, so I'm also gonna include some fashion favorites at the end. But let's get into the beauty favorites. First uh, beauty favorite is the Max Studio Effects Face and Body Foundation. I have the color in, I believe it's C7. And I like this, it's lightweight. Um, it's a good color match. It looked, it's so thin a formula that it didn't matter when I got super tan, it still worked. The light, it's like, feels like water. It goes on, it lasts all day, it looks good, it looks natural, love this stuff. I love the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Bronzer. This is my second bottle. I love this stuff. Um, it doesn't have a color, but it's the only one I know of them making. And you just shake this up. I apply it to the back of my hand and I use a beauty blender and like apply it to my face. Even when I'm not wearing a base, I will put this on just to add a little life. It's a very like natural, bronze, glowy, like healthy look. If you like just a healthy glow to your face, I even put this on my cheeks like instead of blush and just. It just looks so good um, again it wears really well it, it just like kind of sinks into your skin and just looks like it's a part of your skin rather than product on top of your skin next up is highlighters love highlights so my favorite cream highlighter for the summer is the peter thomas raw 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream now i honestly don't know if this is technically skincare um, I got it as part of a skincare kit of like a cleanser and a couple of face masks, but it's highlight and I use it as a makeup product. So I typically apply it like just right on the high points of my cheeks. I have it on as a base to my highlighter today. Um, you can kind of see how that looks. Outer highlight, you can't even see what that says. This is from Gosh, which is a Canadian makeup brand. Um, I would say Gosh is kind of like mid-range, like it's not quite drugstore, but it's not like Sephora high-end yet. Um, so you get this at Shoppers, I believe that's like the only place here you get it. But this is the Giant Sun Powder in 001, and let me cover this mirror. It's a gigantic highlighter and I absolutely love this and this is what I have on. And I, today I just put it on top of this just so that like you guys can see what it looks like. And to let it really show up, I love this. I need to find a place with a giant bronzer because this, like, I don't think I will ever finish this product, but it's beautiful. It's not chunky, but it's a more intense highlight. So I like a smooth highlighter, and that's a very smooth one, and it was like 20 bucks. Next item, beauty wise, I'm loving is the Becca. What are these? This luminous blush. This is in Snapdragon. I've had this blush for a long time, but I never really use it because it's a little intimidating. It's like a really bright red coral with like a gold shimmer. And I, yeah, like I never really used it. But I found that lately with a tan, I've been loving it and I apply it with the Sephora Pro Airbrush number 55, I will insert because I forgot to carry that with me, but that just blends it out so like nicely and it's just very airbrushed and it doesn't look like I threw red paint on my cheeks and I'm wearing it today, but I've been loving this. Um, I've been wearing it like every day. So the last three beauty products, I have an eyeliner, another Pixie product. I really am liking Pixie. I got my first Pixie eyeliner last summer in Bronzy and, and used up the entire stick. And so this summer I got another one and making my way through this one as well. It is beautiful. This is definitely like, I don't know, I'm gonna show you. Like, this is like the, like, look at this. This is like, can you see? This is like the creamiest, creamiest, creamiest eyeliner like I've ever come across. Like, it is so creamy you could like completely blend it out on your lids as a shadow if you wanted to it's that creamy but it doesn't move like it doesn't smudge it doesn't drip like it doesn't go anywhere i have this like smudge into my lash line which is what i've been doing makeup or not i throw this on and, I and the final beauty product i have is a lip product it is what i'm wearing today and it's from mac and it's the mac patent polish lip pencil and clever it's new for me because it has color um, it's hydrating, it doesn't dry your lips out, but it lasts long even while talking and eating. 
and I wear this like at work and I probably only reapply once in an eight hour shift so that's a pretty good gauge for me and yeah that's everything for beauty uh, that I've been loving for the summer so next I'm gonna get into all the fashion pieces okay so first up for fashion I'm gonna get the accessories out of the way I love sunglasses and while I was away, when I was in Antigua, I picked up a new pair of sunglasses. Um, these are from the Vogue Eyewear um, Gigi Hadid collab. And I love these guys. They're like this. And I've been wanting some round sunglasses for the summer. And these are the ones I picked up. And that's what it looks like on. I love them. They're like the coolest things I own. So I love these. I love a metal frame. I love the tortoise shell detailing part. And I just think they look really cool. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram all summer, you would have seen that like literally from the day I got them. I have not taken them off my face. So I love those. Another favorite that I haven't shot as much because I've been so obsessed styling with those, but you will be seeing uh, being styled on the blog and on my Instagram are these pair that I got from Nora NYC. So yeah, I am an, like, an ambassador from Nora NYC and I love these because they remind me of the Celine. I don't know what they're called, but I remember they had like a burgundy one I was obsessed with, but who's spending $600 plus tax on sunglasses? Not this girl. These were like 40. Yeah. I actually have a discount code for Nora, so I'll leave that down below if you want to like check out their sunglasses. But I love these, and I have like um, a Ray-Ban pair that are like acetate, and a Gucci pair that are acetate, and these feel like same quality, like right up there with them. They don't feel cheap because that is one thing I am snobby about, and it is sunglasses. I don't like cheap sunglasses, so like even initially I wasn't too sure, but to my happy happy surprise these are amazing and i think they're actually pretty cool i'm obsessed with handmade like handmade straw bags or raffian bags however you want to call it love and when i was going away i needed like a dope bag and i went to anthropology anthropology is a favorite of mine and i found the most amazing bag okay like if i were a bag i would be this bag and this is the bag I'm talking about and it looks like this and oh my gosh I absolutely love it it's almost perfect the only more perfect thing would have been if I had a crossbody strap but I'm not sure how that would work so I love this I think this is so cool I think it's so different I've seen nobody with this bag anywhere which makes my heart happy I love all the colors it's definitely like what goes with that whole like Crayola chic trend. A link to my blog post will be down below if you haven't seen that yet. I love it. I love, love this purple and the orange. And the, the only color I feel like is missing on this is red, but you know, we can't have it all. Their handcrafted favorite is this guy, which is pretty big on my Instagram. It's this beauty. This is from Urban Outfitters. And then again, it's handcrafted, it's red. Um, some parts of it have more of like an orange shade because again, it's done my hands, so they're not all exact. I love the bamboo handle. Like, oh, I love this. And let's get into the clothing items. I found this. I believe it's called the Claude, the Claudio shirt. It's from Club Monaco. Um, Club Monaco is expensive, but their quality is amazing. If you want quality, classic pieces that are gonna last you, invest especially when they have like a promotion or sale so i got this they were having a promotion where you bought two items you got 20 percent off so i got earrings and this shirt and i love it i wore this in san juan and i will insert a photo of that outfit because i don't believe i posted it yet but i love the shirt um i love the crinkling can you see that it's got this like crinkling to the fabric so it like you know essentially if you couldn't manage to like press it you'd be okay so that's my first like fashion piece favorite the next fashion piece per favorite is my most worn piece of clothing this summer and it is this jumpsuit from marciano i think i've worn this like three times in the last month alone which is a lot for me because i do have quite a bit of clothing um i will again insert a photo 
of this, but it's got like shorts underneath, it's slit on the front, it sits off the shoulder, it is this beautiful, um, splendid bouquet patterning, um, like floral print. I love this. They had this jumpsuit last year in a different print and I missed out on it and I never forgot. So the day that came into the store, I got it. Okay. And then my final like clothing favorite is my favorite dress of the summer so far. And it's another piece from Club Monaco. And I got this in the Club Monaco sale. And it is this like, Oh, it's hard to show you, but I will insert a photo of me wearing this. It's a beautiful, um, like, midi dress, and it's midi on me, and I'm 5'1". I think I got this in a double zero, and a zero fits perfectly. Um, I love this dress. So it's kind of like the mix. It's a safe way to wear that um, trend of, like, mixing prints because it's the same print, but in two different sizes. So it gives you the illusion of mixed prints without it actually being two separate prints in the mix guys so that's it for today's video if you like the favorites video uh give it a thumbs up comment below what you want to see on this channel or what you think so far if you haven't checked out my previous video go ahead and check that out follow me on instagram uh check out my blog uh there has been a new post up all about the crayola chic trend and i will be having a post up today or tomorrow one of them so I will link that below as well. But yeah, definitely check out the blog. Uh, check me out on Instagram. And I will see you guys back here next Sunday. Bye guys.